best-selling author, international speaker, and college professor. Empowering people to overcome obstacles and to walk in their unique purpose is the real-life message shared by Dr. Eddie Connor, who is a survivor of stage four cancer. He transparently shares his journey of overcoming cancer as a spokesperson for the American Cancer Society. Dr. Eddie is an empowerment speaker, college professor, visionary of the Access Identity Conference. Dr. Eddie's ideas, impact, and influence through the Access Identity Conference has led to regist registrants from 24 states and 13 countries from around the world being empowered to transform their vision into action. As the founder of the Eagles Academy, he facilitates master classes on faith, identity, relationships, and speaker training sessions. He's also served as the president of the National Entrepreneurs Association of Michigan. Dr. Eddie is a best-selling author of 16 books and shares his story in the New York Times, best-selling Reach, 40 Black Men Speak on Living, Leading, and Exceeding. It takes a village to raise Detroit and the stars in the movie Lady Luck 2. At this time, please help me welcome Mr. Dr. Eddie Connor. Well, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Come on, you can do better than that. Detroit, what up though? Come on, I said Detroit, what up though? Come on, give yourselves another round of applause for being here today. It's a privilege and a pleasure, a treat and a treasure, a joy beyond measure to stand before you today on this celebrated occasion for the Detroit Edison Public School Academy commencement ceremony to your CEO and superintendent, Mr. Ralph Bland, your chief academic officer, Ms. Kimberly Bland, your principal, Dr. Shirley Brown, to your board of directors and C-suite leaders, to your caring counselor, Ms. Williams. We surely can't acknowledge the root the fruit without the root. And so we can't talk about the grads without acknowledging grandparents, guardians, moms and dads. And so we acknowledge all of you today for rooting your children on the greatness and raising them to rise to the occasion. We salute you for this tremendous support, but most importantly to this, the greatest graduating class of Detroit Edison Public School Academy. Come on, let's give them a round of applause. Come on grads, make some noise. Come on, you can do better than that. These are our leaders. These are our next level judges. These are our lawyers. These are our entrepreneurs. These are our community cultivators. That's what we do. Scripture declares in Jeremiah 29 and 11, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And today I know you're wearing your graduation cap. But I don't want to talk about why your next is now no cap. That's right, your next is now. Today on this field, your dreams are being fulfilled. Oliver Wendell Holmes, a noted author and physician, declared a mind stretched by new ideas never returns to its original dimension. And I got news for you, and that is you can't graduate to the next level if you're stifled by the opinions of other people. You can't graduate to the next level by thinking small and surrounding yourself with small-minded people because you can never expect people with limited thinking to understand your unlimited dreams. Let me give you this one for free, and that is if your dreams are affordable, you're not dreaming big enough. You can't get to the graduate to the next level, as Malcolm X declared, if you can't handle criticism, and you're surely not ready for success. You gotta realize that there's gonna be critics, there's gonna be cynics, there's gonna be haters, there's gonna be naysayers, but you gotta use them all as elevators and escalators to graduate to the next level. The people that you surround yourself with and the lessons you learn should enhance your growth, not stunt it. The lesson, the reason that you've labored and learned is so that you can be qualified to lead. You gotta realize it's not too early to get started, it's not too late to be great, because there's a God-given gift and a purpose in, uh, inside each and every single one of us. We gotta dream it, we gotta discover it, we gotta use it to inspire the world simply because no dream is unreachable, no vision is unachievable, no goal is unattainable. Public service announcement, please forgive me for my brash delivery, 
So here's your DJ Khaled major key alert moment. And that is the word graduation is rooted in the word gradual. You didn't get here overnight. It was your step by step, day by day, semester by semester, year by year, gradual process to graduate to the next level with success. Because whether you're valid as a valedictorian, whether you're saluted as a salutatorian, whether you're graduating cum laude, summa cum laude, or if you were just like me and you graduated from high school saying thank you, laude, you ought to be grateful and glad because you graduated. The dope picture that society has painted has oftentimes depicted us as incarcerated when we can clearly see today that you have graduated to the next level. You got to understand this, there's levels of this because the greater the battle, the greater the blessing. And what I want the news to do, I want the news to show up not when it's shooting and looting going on, but show up when we're graduating. Show up when we're turning our tassel. Show up when we're flipping our cap. Show up when we're getting our diploma for being dedicated. It's time to change the negative narrative. You're not a pariah and a predator. You're a provider and a protector. You're not some young thug. You're a young scholar. You're not a detriment. You are determined. You're not a stereotype. You are a prototype for success. You are not a liability, but you will be an asset to your community, your school, your college, and your university. You're not leaving Detroit Edison Public School Academy. You're not leaving Depsa just so you can floss and flex to be G'd up from the feet up. Simply because, as Thomas Edison said, that genius is 1% inspiration, but 99% perspiration. You're not leaving this school so that you can get a, you can secure the bag and just have your hair done, nail done, everything did, or you fancy, huh? This is not about you just getting a job to afford some red bottom heels and a Louis bag. This is about more than you having a pair of buffs. This is about more than you having a fancy car so you can pull up to the scene with your ceiling missing. This is not about what you're driving. It's about what's driving you that matters the most and makes the difference. It's not so you can be bad and bougie or so you can get a Rolex and not know what time it is. This is about more than you having the financial means to floss and buy a pair of buffs because real eyes, real eyes, real truth are lies and eyesight can't give you insight because if you have sight but no vision, you're still blind. You don't only go as far as your dream, but you ought to look around you today and that is you go as far as your team. And I'm grateful that in your education journey, you had teachers who were teammates with foresight and insight who understood that Keisha can learn just as well as Katie and Jamal can learn just as well as Johnny. Scripture declares, train up a child in the way that they should go and when they're older, they won't depart from it. When they're older, they won't go to prison, but you'll go to Princeton. When you're older, you won't do four years in jail, you do four years in Cornell and Yale. When they're older, these students, these graduates, won't do four years in a prison house, they'll do four years at Spelman and Moore House. When you're older, you won't go to a correctional facility, but you'll go to a college or a university simply because you're on your way to enroll even at a trade school because a plumber is just as important as a professor. An electrician is just as significant as an engineer. And I need you to hear that you're not average, you're amazing. You're not ordinary, you're extraordinary. You're not a whiner, you're a winner. You're not a warrior, you're a warrior. You're not a chump, you're a champion. You're not a chicken, you're an eagle. And now it's time to soar around your teammates who will cause you to go to another height like the eagle that you are. Simply because the real role models today are not Beyonce, Cardi B, Cash Dow, Sexy Red, Sada Baby, Jeezy, Weezy, Yeezy, Jay-Z, a little Uzi. But the real role models are you, me, and we. Don't deflect. I want you to use this moment to reflect. I want you to use this moment to connect as you think about how you're going to aspire higher on your journey to higher heights. I believe in the midst of all these graduates out here today, I got at least 21 graduates who can agree with me that for the last four years, you can say like 21 Savage, how many people doubted you? A lot. Left you out to rot? A lot. How many prayed that you flop? A lot. How many times did you cry? A lot. How much homework did you have to do? A lot. How many times did your mom and daddy pray for you? How many times did your principals and teachers help you? I know you've been through a lot.
that this isn't the end for you. There's a new level for you to rise to simply because there's a lot more for you to do. Which I can tell you today, even as I hasten to my close, that it is with quaking trepidation that I stand before you today woefully unqualified. CEO, Superintendent, Mr. Bland shouldn't even have this humbled opportunity because yes, I stand before you as a college professor with a PhD, but all that is my New Testament. My Old Testament is I enrolled in the School of Hard Knocks, graduated from the University of Adversity. And I'm a living witness that the least likely can do the most mighty because your test is a testimony, your misery is ministry, your mess is a message, your stumbling block is a stepping stone, and what God will do is he'll use your setback as a setup for your greatest comeback. Somebody in here know that you don't look like what you've been through. If we had to move the color purple on the screen out here, I'd tell you, just like Sophia, all my life, I had to fight. Do I got some fighters out here? You fought through the storm, you fought through the rain, you fought through the trial and the pain, you don't look like what you've been through. Diagnosed with stage four cancer 24 years ago. My father never visited me one day in the hospital. People gave up on me. Lost all my self-confidence. I lost my hopes and my dreams and my self-esteem due to chemotherapy and radiation that took out my hair. Years ago, a guy walked up to me, didn't say hello, didn't even say what up though. He walked up to me and said, I thought you died. When he said that, my fist balled up. Can I keep it 100, y'all? I was getting ready to have a Will Smith, Chris Rock moment and I wasn't gonna be Chris. Yeah, cancer made me cry, but it didn't make me quit. I discovered that the first three letters in cancer spells what, y'all? Can, you can overcome, you can survive. A knockdown is not a knockout unless you stay down. I didn't hit that guy with my fist, but I hit him with my achievements. I held my peace and I told him, as you can see, I didn't die, I multiplied. Very few people thought you would make it. Very few people thought that I would make it. But by the grace of God, I stand before you today as a 24-year survivor. 2024 marks 24 years of me being cancer-free. And don't let doubters, don't let cynics, don't let critics, don't let skeptics put a period where God placed a comma. Because as long as you have a pulse, you have a purpose. You've been chosen to be a change agent. You've been chosen to be a trendsetter and a trailblazer and an innovator and a dominator and a mover and a shaker and a record breaker and a history maker. Do what's never been done before. Go where no one has ever gone before. You're graduating today because you didn't die, you multiplied. It's time to multiply your gifts, multiply your greatness. Don't get it twisted. This graduation isn't solely about your essay and your GPA. It's not because of your cool swag and your charm, but I came to tell you on behalf of the folks in front of you and across from you and behind you and on the sides of you, you're here because somebody prayed for you. Somebody had you on their mind. Somebody took the time to pray for you, and you ought to be glad that they prayed because the call on your life Life is to graduate to the next level. It is to aspire higher because your next is now. And so we celebrate you today because you're not taking a mug shot, but you can take your own selfie. You're in caps, not cuffs. You're in gowns, not prison jumpsuits. You got diplomas, not guns and bullets. You're headed to earn your bachelor's degree rather than stand behind prison bars. You're embarking on a new revolution by graduating to the next level because today we're looking at new school Martin Luther Kings. We're looking at new school Coretta Scott Queens. New, new school next generation Malcolm Next. Fortune 500 CEOs, lawyers, scientists, doctors, astrophysicists, and young people who will assist in their community. And young man, you may never play in the NBA, but you can still own the team by earning an MBA. As a master's in business administration. Young lady, you may never be America's next top model, but as long as your standards are higher than your heels, you can be America's next top role model because you stand on the shoulders of giants from today and yesterday. And so I charge you today, Detroit Edison Public School Academy, graduating class of 2024, to be relentless, be radical, be revolutionary, be resilient, and graduate to the next level. Realize and recognize there's a king inside of you, brother. There's a queen inside of you, my sister. Greatness flows through you, as Kendrick Lamar would say. We're going to be all right because you got loyalty. You got royalty inside your DNA. So mount up with wings as an eagle because the hopes and dreams of Dr. King lives through you. The radical roar of Malcolm X screams by any means necessary. The vision of Dr. Carter G. Woodson is deep in your soul, illuminating your visual acuity. The vision of Dr. Carter, invent like George Washington Carver, turn pain into poetry like a Nikki Giovanni, knock out oppression 
playmaking like a Muhammad Ali. Hit a home run and break barriers like a Jackie Robinson. Pick up the baton and run your race like a Jesse Owens. Ladies, wear your crown and be a queen like Coretta Scott King. Maintain the audacity of hope like a Barack Obama. When they go low, you ought to go high like a Michelle Obama. Represent for the people like Barbara Jordan. Rise to new heights like a Dorothy Height. Demand R-E-S-P-E-C-T like that singing sister soldier Aretha Franklin. Get active and stand for something greater like Fannie Lou Hamer. Look at the clock and recognize it's your time like a Benjamin Banneker. Let your ideas be like a light bulb ignited by the filament of a Lewis Latimer. You come from kings and you sure enough come from queens like that witty warrior by the name of Maya Angelou who told you still I rise. You may write me down in history but your bitter twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt but still like dust I rise. Your next is now so rise class of 2024. You are 2020 phenomenal. Keep being phenomenal. It's your season to level up because your next is now. No matter the heat, like Kendrick, you can take the hate from Drake and tell them they not like us. They not like us. They not like us. So today as you receive your diploma and walk across this stage, here's your last homework assignment. Write a new chapter, flip the page, and tell every hater to put some respect on your name. Phenomenal words.